when we previously talked about how light behaves at transitions between one material to another, we introduced the idea that light can reflect either diffusely or through so-called specular reflection. And we also introduced the idea that light can transmit. I'm showing here a piece of clear plastic. And there are four or five sets of laser rays passing right through it. This plastic is what we would call transmitting the light. In other words, it's allowing light uh, to travel from the left side of the screen through the plastic and onto the right side, uh, more or less unperturbed. And we left it at that because mostly what we were interested in up till now is the process of reflection. There's another process that takes place at this boundary, however, and it complicates our understanding of what transmitting through the plastic means. And I'm going to show that to us now. First, I'll take a s only a small change here. I'm just turning this plastic square by just a little bit. And what you may notice is that some of the light is, as before, transmitting on through. But you can also see that there is reflected light coming back toward my little laser box. And it comes off and it obeys the law of reflection. This is actually angle of incidence equals angle of reflection because this is a nice, smooth, mirror-like surface. It's a fairly polished piece of plastic. And so the process of reflection happens much like it would on a polished mirror. If I turn this block some more, what you may notice is that the light isn't transmitting in the simplest way. It's not going straight on through. In fact, it's bending just a bit. And as I go from this region over here, which is just air, into the plastic, which is some thick material or dense material, the light has bent a bit. So it's turned down to, to the lower part of the, of the screen. And then as it leaves this plastic, it turns back up again. Maybe you see it a little bit more clearly right here. And the more I turn this plastic square, Perhaps more, the more dramatic is this effect. The light is coming in, bending down, and then bending back out again. This process of the light bending is called the process of refraction. And it just means that the light is turning at an angle as a result of going from a less dense region to a greater density region up here. You can also see a little bit more uh, prominently now the reflected rays. So some light is coming in reflecting, and some light is transmitting, but refracting uh, at that surface. So today we're going to be talking about the process of refraction and how that changes uh, depending on what kind of material is right here and what uh, kinds of angles of incidence the light takes as it enters the material. The process of refraction is very much at the heart of a lot of optical instruments we have, like lenses, and how we make things like eyeglasses and cameras and telescopes. And understanding it very well is, in, is very important to anyone who thinks about whether they're nearsighted or farsighted and doesn't want to bump into a wall.